A Flower Garden by William Wordsworth. Tell me is a fires that unfold a fluttering all the gay recess, pinions that fan the teeming mould of Eden's blissful wilderness, that only softly stealing hours where close the peaceful lives of flowers? Save when the moving creature saw all kinds commingled with her fear, bewailing alike indulgent law for the still growth that prosper here, had won the fawn and kid for beer, the half blonde rose, the lily spare? Or peep they often from the beds and prematurely disappeared, devour like pleasure ere it spreads a bosom to the sun and deared? If such were harsh and timidly doom, it falls not here on bud or bloom. Old summer long the happy eve, of this fair spot her flowers may bind, nor e'er the rapid fancy grief from the next glance she casts to find that love and it thinks by fate is rendered vain as love for great. Yet where the guardian fancies found, so subtle our eyes beguiled, we see not nor suspect the bound, no more than in some forest wild. The sight is free as air are crossed, only by art and nature lost. And though the jealous turf refuse by random footsteps to be pressed, and feet on never solid dews, ye gentle breezes from the west, before the ministers of hope, are tempted to the sunny slope. And high the throngs of birds resort, some inmates lodged in shady nests, some perched on steams of stately port, but not to welcome transient guests, the high and leveret is seen at play, a peer not more shut out one way. Apt emblem for reproof of pride, with delicate enclosure shows of modest kindness that would hide the firm protection she bestows, of manners like its viewless fence, ensuring peace to innocence. Thus spake the more amused her wing, abruptly spreading to depart. She left the farewell offering, memento for some docile heart. But may respect the good old age, when fancy was truth's willing page, and truth would skim the flowery glade, though entering but as fancy's shade.